let's see how to answer this question on permutations and combinations, which appeared in IPMAT 23 short answer section. It seems there are four groups and every group contains equal number of players. So let us assume in each group, there are N players. Now I have information about the number of matches played by each player. So let us calculate what is the number of matches played by one player. Multiplying that with the total number of players will give me the total number of matches. Now every player will play against every other player belonging to the own group. Now suppose if I am a player, in my group there are n people, I am going to play with every other person once. So which means the number of matches I will be playing with my own group is n minus 1. Plus, I will play against each player belonging to one of the remaining three groups exactly twice. So of the remaining three groups, let me take a group. There are n players. With every player, I am playing twice. So the number of matches I am playing is 2n. Then I will play against each player belonging to one of the remaining two groups exactly three times. So in one group, there are n players with every player three matches. So 3n. And similar fashion, last group, 4n. So the number of matches played by one person is 10n minus 1. So the total number of matches is number of players into number of matches of one player. However, think for a second here. Suppose if I am a player and there is one more player in some other group. I have already counted the match between me and that particular player when I counted my matches. The same match is also counted when we have considered the matches played by the person. So meaning every match is counted twice. So the number of unique matches played will be 4n into 10n minus 1 by 2. And the number of total matches is greater than 1000. So I want the minimum possible value for n. Okay. Now, uh, two ones, two twos, two ones, two five hundreds. So I can say n into 10n minus 1 must be greater than 500. And I want the minimum value of n that satisfies this equation. Now, trial and error instead of forming a quadratic. Suppose if I say n is equal to 5, then it becomes 5 into 49. No. If n is equal to 6, then it is 6 into 59. No. n is equal to 7. Um, 7 into 69. 7 into 70 is 490. Very close. So n is equal to 8. 8 into 79. 8 into 80 is 640. So definitely the minimum value of n is 8. So the number of players minimum in each group is equal to 8. Now, once you understand how to solve this question, we want you to try the replica question that you see on the screen and post your answers in the comment section below. Thank you.